so it is I think 1 40 in the morning I want to say 1 40 in the morning I am I'm not drunk my voice is just messed up I would never drink and drive ever 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 um as you can see we went to trap karaoke me and my two cousins and my best friend it was so much fun nobody fought everyone was in good spirits everyone was singing and vibing it was such a good time I'm glad I went I've never been to anything like that before and it was really fun so um yeah when I get home I'm, I'm going to bed I'm going under the bed because I am not 20 no more 20 me and Tracy that's my best friend used to be able to go to like we used to pregame, we used to go to the club, we would eat after the club, and then she would drop me off at work. Yeah, I can't do that anymore. So I'm going to um, be knocked all the way out, and then I'll take you um, around me and run my errands. I think my mommy and auntie are coming over tomorrow, and yeah, but it was a really, really, really good night. Y'all had a good time. All right, I'll check in with y'all later. Y'all. I don't, I don't want to get out of bed. I'm dead right now. <laughs> I'm really dead right now. Um, my throat. I'm so hoarse, y'all. I had so much fun, though. I just got done posting pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, April Newly Me, you will see us cutting up. Me, my two cousins, and my best friend. It was so much fun. It trapped karaoke. I would definitely do it again. Y'all see my eyes? I do not know where I packed my makeup wipes and I wanna cry because the face wash that I use has no oil. Therefore, I know there's still, I can see it. There's still makeup on my eyes. But y'all, I'm so dead. I had so much fun. I didn't drink too much because I was, you know, the one driving. I had to drive me and uh, Tracy back to the vet. I'll tell y'all where we live. I had to drive me um, and my best friend back to the valley. So I didn't drive. I didn't drink. Ooh, girl. I'm still messed up. I didn't drink too much. I just had a shot. First off, shout out to the girl. I don't even remember her name. But we was in line and I was like, I want some. I'm not going to say the liquor. She's like, oh, sis, I got you. And pulled it out her purse. Now, that's the type of friends I need, okay? Um, so I had a shot in line, and then when we got in to the to the arena, I think I just had one drink, and then I was just on water and ice because I didn't want to. I'm a very, very much so a lightweight, so that wasn't gonna work. But I had so much fun. He played really good music. He even had some church up in here, and I was like, "This ain't trap." But I, I was feeling it. Y'all know I love gospel. I love the Lord. So I was feeling it. But yeah, it was nice. I got to ca catch up with my cousins. I haven't chilled with my one cousin in like years. So it was it was really a good time. I feel like I sound like Dark Vader. I really do. Today, I have errands to run and I really don't feel like doing them. But I have to go to my bank and deposit some money and have them print some checks because child i'm not buying no checkbook because first of all the two things i need the checks for i'm like why are you asking me for a check do you know it is a uh, 2023 child about to be 24 why do you still want a check explain that to me and i really ask i'm not even trying to be funny or sarcastic to y'all when i was on the phone with them, i was like let's you know let's talk this out let's you know get to the root cause of why in this day and age y'all still want checks i know the person on the phone does not make those decisions okay i understand you're not in a group chat when it comes to making this decision because i've picked up the phone at many a business and i know they're probably like girl i don't it's above me but at the same time they be recording calls so let's unpack why you want to take checks just really dumbfounded by that and i refuse to buy a checkbook because i'm only gonna need like six i want to say six or eight checks for like the entire year it's the audacity of them asking for a check 
But anyway, child, we're going to go in the bank because I'm not buying no checkbook. And my mama told me. Mama told me that I can go into the bank and they'll print, I think she said six or seven checks for free. We're going to go ahead and do that. Because that, that don't. Anyway, child, that really bothers me. But anyway, we got to go to the bank. We have to go to the post office. I just don't want to do nothing. I don't want to get up. I just want to lay here. be grown but i'm grown but yeah and then i'm gonna go to um cvs because i i really need to get this off my face it's not oop, you're not focusing there you go i just need to get this on my face because i feel like i'm dirty but i'm not but i feel like it. all right bye i'll see you guys in a minute First of all let me tell y'all how a flying object just hit my car and the crazy part is excuse me The crazy part is I'm not even like mad, which is gross, but I'm not even mad because one, the most important thing, I didn't get hurt. I didn't hit, swerve and hit anyone else. As far as I know, the other people involved weren't hurt. That's the most important thing. Nobody was hurt. Um, secondly, there's nothing I can do about it. So there's no point in me stressing about it. There's no point in me worrying about it. It is what it is. And I have insurance. What can happen? It's just crazy. So let me tell you, let me sit down. Let me tell y'all a story. I should get comfortable. I think I'm getting a white head, y'all. But anyway, and before my mama watched this, I am dressed. And this is a sports bra. I'm dressed though. But anyway, child, so I'm, it was a four lane road and it's a long road. There's no way to like make a U-turn. There's a divider between those four roads and another four roads. And it's a long like block. So anyway, I'm driving, minding my business, listening to Meg. We on some real hot girls in the car, you know, minding my business, running all my errands today. And the car in front of me is like doing this, where you think like he's trying to swerve hitting a cat or something, but he did it like two or three times. And then he starts to brake really hard to where I hear his tires screech. I do not, and that for that very reason, I don't ride nobody's bumper. First of all, it's annoying. If you do that, you're annoying, okay? Secondly, for situations like that, because if anything happens with that car and they break, they whatever the case, you're going to smack their car and you're going to be liable. Trust me when I tell you, if you hit someone's car, even if they like reverse into you, they're going to pin it on you. Never hit the back of someone's car. But anyway, he breaks and his tires, I can hear them like screeching. So I swerve in the next lane. As I'm swerving, I see a top, I can hear that he hit whoever was in front of him. I don't know who's at fault there because I'm just worried about swerving at this point. So he hits this car and girl, a tire and one of them big like Tonka truck type truck tires like that was on like one of them tall trucks. That's so obnoxious by the way. But anyway, one of those tires, girl is flying. And I'm scared because I'm like, is this thing going to hit and shatter my window? That's how high it was in the air. But it hits my bumper. And I see the plastic from my, you know, the light go in the air. So I was like, okay, there goes my light. And I hear it smack my bumper. Now, I wasn't in what I would say like some horrific accident. My airbags didn't deploy. My purse just fell off of the seat next to me. And of course, I was like kind of shaken up by it because girl, who has a tire flying at them? So I drove all the way to the first um, intersection and I was, mind you, I'm in the middle lane. I'm not in the two that are closer to making the right turn. So I couldn't merge over in time to get in the turning lane. So I had to go to Trader Joe's where I was going, get in the parking lot park. I finally get out the car, look at my bumper. My bumper is looking so sad. Have you ever seen one of those emojis where like the happy face, but like the lips are like this? That's how my car look, y'all. The bumper like, that's what it looked like. And the blinking light is out of its socket and sitting in the bottom part of the bumper. Mind you, again, I didn't get hurt. No one else got hurt. You know, glory to God. It, it could have been different. Maybe I would have swerved and hit someone or it could have been worse, you know? So I'm not upset. And again, it happens. What really, here's the juice of the story, sis. So 
after I see the, the damage that's been done, I'm like, oh, we about to get old boys uh, insurance. I don't know which one of y'all is at fault and I really don't care. I just need both of y'all insurances. So I get back in the car, I make a U-turn and go all the way back up the street. They are gone. They are gone, okay? When I mean gone, it was like I made all this up in my head type of situation, like they were gone. So I'm sitting up there looking and I actually, um, you know, I went up and down the street like twice because maybe they turned into a side street. There's a gated community that you can turn into, but I was like, maybe one of them lives there and they're in there. I don't know. So as I pulled over, because I was like, let me just call my insurance and tell them what happened. Peep, it's a it's a nice trail and hiking way. So a guy, and I don't know if it was girlfriend, but he was with a lady. He came and he was like, miss, I saw what happened. There was a white pickup truck with a bunch of stuff on the back. Have y'all ever seen those cars where like it's a pickup truck and they have like their entire life in like Sanford and Son, that type of situation. He was like, the car you were in back of, which was like a red, I mean, yeah, the car I was in the back of is like a red SUV. He was like, something happened with the pickup truck and the SUV that was in front of you smacked the back of his truck. And he had one of those big tires sitting on a pile of shit in his pickup truck. And when the car, the SUV smacked his car, that thing started flying and it hit you. And he said, the white pickup truck tried to take off and then the red SUV took off after him. So they somewhere in California having a high speed chase. Meanwhile, I'm just like, I didn't get no one's license plates. I didn't, you know, I'm trying to swerve. So I didn't get any information. I told my insurance company, they were like, what could you have done? And I was like, truces, cause I've never had a tire flying at me. So I was kind of, you know, discombobulated at seeing that. But filed the claim, thank God I have insurance, we're gonna get it fixed. It's gonna be a process, but you know, again, I wasn't hurt. That's my main concern, no one else was hurt. I didn't hurt anyone, that's all I care about. But child, stuff like this always happened to me. Um, I kind of feel like sometimes I, I'm in Looney Tunes, like, what's the cartoon with Bugs Bunny and all of them, is it Looney Tunes? I feel like I'm, I feel like Lola. If I was in Looney Tunes, I would definitely be Lola. That's Bugs Bunny's girl. She was cute or whatever. I wasn't feeling Daisy. I wasn't feeling Daisy because how are you with a man that you can't even understand? No one can't even understand Daffy. He does too much. He's always upset and she just deal with it like, I don't know. That whole couple is like, their relationship gives me red vibes, uh, red flags. But anyway. Girl, that's my saga. I'm gonna go ahead and put away these groceries. Oh, let me show you all the stuff I got. I'm not gonna go into an in-depth haul because I have a separate video for that, but I'll give you guys a peek of what I had and I'm gonna put the, those away. My dad, I told him um, what happened. He's gonna come over and look at my car. He was coming over anyway to do my TV stand. So he's just gonna come over to look at the car also because you know, he's a dad and that's what dads do. But yeah, I will check back in with y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put up my groceries. I'm gonna show you first what I got and then I'll check back All in. All right, y'all, so this is everything. I spent 121 at Trader Joe's, which is over budget, but it's cause I got a lot of pantry stuff. And this, which was like, I don't know how much, but it was a lot and my shrimp, but I don't care cause it's my food, so whatever. But yeah, I got that and this was like $47 and some change at Target. Again, there will be like a whole dedicated video to go over all of this. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and I'll check back in with y'all later.
try, I swear I'll try to give you my everything. Speak now what happened.